Hello guys, well, um, this is a very, very first example of uh, what we can do with Watson. Um, what I wanted to do is a, a little toy, you know, there are lots of toys. Um, I'm gonna clear out my, my terminal, but uh, uh, there are lots of toys. Uh, I mean, I used to play with toys when I was a kid. And now that I'm uh, older, I would like my future kids to play with toys as well. So, um, this very first experiment is one of those attempts to create an intelligent toy. So, um, I created this guy, which is here. I call him Gato. Gato is made of fabric. Um, as you can see, it has its arms here and everything is in place. So I, I could remove this because um, I need more space for the future experiment. But this is all handmade. This is Gato, completely handmade. And these are, well, this is the Raspberry One, I believe. Yeah, no, this is the Raspberry Two version Two. This is the Raspberry One. As you can see, they are, they are very very similar in in size they are actually the same size and there are lots of new boards out there now for example this is the dragon board for 410 i believe yeah 410 c and it is very much the same size as well as you can see here it's the same size different processor but everything is in place and there are other things this is a an ESP8266, but um, other microcontrollers such as the uh, OpenWRT microcontrollers and processors are this big. So you can compare, it's smaller. You can compare them and you can actually install things in there. And what we are going to do is actually something that can be installed in one of those, in one of those systems as well. So now I introduced you to Gato. This is Gato. I have other uh, MVPs, minimal viable products, or um, prototypes I have made. I'm going to create another video to show you uh, how they are made. But today we are going to focus on uh, making Watson speak. So uh, I'm going to just run the example i'm not going to go through the code nothing like that but as you can see in the background there is some code there i'm going to put this more or less there so in order to make watson speak because watson has a lot of uh, apis i'm going to run this a little application which is made in node.js i mean javascript as you can see there so i'm going to run it and check this out. Hi, I'm Watson. I can help you order a pizza. What size would you like? Tamaño grande. What toppings are you in the mood for? Limit four. Extra queso. Do you prefer pickup or delivery? Entrega. Do you prefer pickup or delivery? Entrega. Okay, I have one large cheese pizza for delivery. Is that correct? Sí. Correcto. Sounds good. Your pizza will be ready in 20 minutes. Do you want to order another? No, gracias. Okay, thank you for your order. Just let me know if you want to place another order. 
Well, as you can see, uh, I have to talk in Spanish because, well, because um, I had problems being interpreted. Uh, what size would you like? Sorry there. I, I have problems being uh, understood in English. M maybe my English is not very clear to the machine. Maybe not in the human shape as well, but... Um, I had to to make this uh, in Spanish, and then Watson as well understand the Spanish, translate it into English, and then inputs that information into the English um, dialogue. So, uh, what can we do with that? Well, that code will be inputted in one of these boards, and is going to give life to our little fella here which is Gato so thanks for watching